much longer are we going to swallow this crap? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So how bad is it? <laughs> yeah, just listen to this poor son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, followed his son out to San Francisco because his son got a job at Google. Now he's living in that San Francisco shithole. You know, you hear it on the news and you think, well, they exaggerate, huh? And then you listen to this someone that actually lives there and they go, nope, they're not. Hey, well, pray for that, this guy, pray for me, pray for you, because I tell you, I have no idea where the hell this is going. Uh, well, I, I do have an idea, but I, if, I, if I told you what that idea is, I'd scare the crap out of you and it would come back and never listen to me again. So, um, anyway, if you like it, you like it, if you care, you share, and if you can, you can contribute. And I'll see you on the flip side. California. Well, Paul, San Francisco. <laughs> oh, so you got the same problem I got. I'm all in this liberal cesspool. Yep, exactly. Are you retired now? Are you retired? Yeah, I lived in Florida, which was a good Republican area. Yeah. Super conservative and everything. But my son took a job with Google, so I moved out there. Oh to my God. <laughs> and is he conservative also? He has to keep his mouth shut. You know, there was a whistleblower that came out recently, you just saw. About a year ago. No, no, just recently, even more recently. Oh, yeah. Really? A big one, big guy, I mean, like an executive, came out and, re I mean, he collected documents, insider information, huh. and um, he came out maybe about two or three weeks ago. I haven't been at home, so... I yeah, I, well, of course, you know, the mainstream media is not being published. Tell this. me about it. But, uh, I mean, he really blew the whistle on him and showed the uh, the meetings, the words of how they're, you know, trying to manipulate the outcome of the election, everything. Yeah. Sad. What's so sad? how bad is it in San Francisco as far as being on the streets? We get stories all the time about, you know, the crap. I, I, I actually live in Mountain View, which is uh, uh. where Google's headquarters is. I live a mile, mile from Google's headquarters, two miles from Apple's headquarters. And there's uh, Microsoft and everything else right there, and it is it is a cesspool. But it is, is it worse really? the further up the bay you go to when you get to San Francisco. We have so many homeless and so much you know garbage and stuff. We pay the highest taxes in the country, and it's horrible. We went home to Florida for a vacation in June. Low taxes, the roads work. You know, the, the public service are good. People are friendly. People are happy and stuff. Out there, you're it, it really it's like living in a foreign country. It's not America. Everybody's from Asia, Hindu mostly, and they don't have American attitudes at all. It's just you know, it's like we're better than you people, and you know, and, and we're gonna have to, we want this to turn into India. You know, it's just it just. It's disgusting. You know, Don't Florida. they see the needles and the crap in the streets and the filth? I mean... Uh, well, I talked to a lady and I heard her then on Rush Limbaugh. I think it was not Rush. Uh, Savage. The station. And uh, she had a beauty parlor in Sacramento, not too far from the state capitol. And she said that the junkies every day and yeah. the needles and everything like this and people mm -hmm. using the front of her store as a yeah. best restroom. She said at one time she had 10 people working in 10 chairs and stuff and it was doing really well. She's down to herself and two others. Now she's afraid she has to close her business because yeah. it's so bad. And I won't go into San Francisco. My first move there three years ago, I said, oh, I'm going to be near Big City. I lived in New York before. This will be great. I'll go to plays and stuff. You get on the train, there's people peeing on the seats. Or it's just, just just pure thing. And the cops just look the other way. Every day there's car break-ins and stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the report. They get the largest amount of car thefts in the country now there. And the police do nothing. The police, I mean, in my neighborhood, there was a bunch of burglaries. They caught the three people who were doing it in the, in the act. They were out on bail in no time. Nothing follows through. Just, well, think that they were illegal immigrants, so, you know, we can't do anything about it. And uh, it, it, 
that pisses me off, the governor of California oh, gives geez. money yeah. for illegal immigrants to turn so they don't get, uh, I think, what part of the fact that they're illegal? You know, you break the law, you break the law. If I went, I, I lived in Israel for many years. If you want to go to Israel, you better get a visa, oh, you better yeah. come in with a permit. I went to Germany, better have my visa, better have my thing. You know, you just don't walk across the border and, and, uh, and uh, it's serious business. I was on a fellowship in Germany and we were on a bus tour with a group of academics and there was a little footbridge going over into Czechoslovakia. And he said, and the guy that was with us, the professor was in charge, said, well, we can go across the border, no problem. Just make sure you have your passports. So we all went across, you know, people wanted to buy Bohemian glass and, and schnapps and stuff. And he came across without his passport. He was a German official. And they held him up at the border, and they gave him all kind of crap and stuff. They had to pay a big fine. They had to send somebody else to get us at the bus because he was the, the leader of the, the tour thing that was supposed to be showing us the, 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 the greatness of Germany, you know. And... Uh, so I know firsthand what borders are like. You know, I've traveled all over yeah. Central America and South America. And borders are borders. You better make sure that you're in the right country at the right time. And here, just walk across and do whatever you want to do, you know. And, and not only that, but in California, they... they we encourage you. We have all these uh, veterans on the street, literally, you know. You give them a dollar or something, you try to help them. But meanwhile, the state is paying for the... the the illegals that come in, we put, put them in the apartment, got to give them welfare. But, you know, it's not welfare, it's CalFare or whatever they yeah, call it, crap right. and stuff. It just, I don't know, the whole thing pisses me off. I want America to be America. You know, I have no problem if you're black, white, Asian, whatever. Just be an American and act like an American, you know. Indeed. You know, hold, Indeed. You know. What do you think the outcome's going to be? How, what do you think's going to happen? I wish. I don't know what's going to happen because I, I don't want to predict. I, the community that I live in, there's... It's uh, 120 manufactured homes for senior citizens. And out of that, there were three of us that were Trump supporters. Only because we were opposed to that bitch. You know? Not because we love Trump, but just because yeah, yeah, right. anything other than her, you yeah, know? Right. And really, I, I think Trump is a braggart. I think he's, he's insane half the time, but he's doing some good things for our country. And he's far better than any of the Democrats in the field. So what I really wish is that we had a white knight come up through the, through the ranks, either liberal or, you know, whatever, and that came up that was ready to play right and stuff and took over and, and maybe, you know, good Republican or thing. I don't care if it's Republican, just as long as it's conservative values. You know, we make America America. We have security, you know, border security and all but that. California probably seems too lost now. I don't see them turning... I mean, do you, think, do you see a breakup of the country? Do you think it might, like, actually be a civil war? A friend of mine in, in the park that also is, is conservative sent me a thing. He said Trump had just traded California for Hong Kong because the Hong Kong people were demonstrating with American flags and they want democracy. Yeah, yeah. And California people want uh, yeah. communism and socialism. Yeah, yeah, I, I said, I sent her back a note and I said, I just got that from a few days ago, and I, I sent her back and I said, help me pack when I get back. I want to make sure I'm still in the United States. But, uh, no, I don't. It, it's it's. Well, look at New York City too now. Oh yeah, they've ruined it. It's up Chicago. I wouldn't go to Chicago. There's more. There's more dead from from gunshots and stuff in, in Chicago, which they don't talk about, than there is in all these mass shootings that have happened. You know, and those are not uh, white fanatics or anything. Well, that's one of the things he brought up in his tweets. What about three, four weeks ago? Was had all the Democratic cities or sheriffs? Yeah. And it just it scares me because I don't want that to be the America of my my grandkids when I ever have some. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But I don't see the. If you look at history, I mean, you only can judge a future by what's happened in the past. This ain't the first time we've gone through this rodeo. You know, it's it's. It, uh, and unfortunately, it always usually it comes down to a revolution. It's a sad thing. I mean, even Thomas Jefferson said, "From am I right? you got it, darling." And um, you know, the, the, the Thomas Jefferson said, "From time to time, the tree of liberty must be watered with the blood of tyrants and patriots." And he figured about every twenty years. So you know. Yeah. 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 So the thing is, you know, term limits for the. the uh, Hi there. For Congress, is, I think is important. We're getting too many of these people that are there forever and just, you know, vested interests. 
Nancy Pelosi owns half of California oh, yeah. and her family, and she's, and you know, she's an aunt or something to get yeah. to our governor, Gavin Newsom. They're all interconnected. All these crooked deals. She's a multi multi millionaire. I don't, I don't, you know. <laughs> Keep it simple. amazing reaction I get out here from our work, you know, because uh, people see it. I mean, the government, and what gets me is the disconnect from our elected officials, from the people there to govern. Uh -huh. I mean, it, it's like two yep. polarities. It's two different worlds we're talking about here. Yep. And so how long do we, again, how long do we put up with that? I mean, even the Justice Department, when are we going to see some justice? I mean, lock her up wasn't a campaign slogan. And then, you know, they, well, well fool us once with Sessions, okay, now you put Barr in, what has he done? Name one person he's held accountable. The IG report comes out, and what does he do? Okay. Yeah. See anything of uh, Comey? Uh, didn't do yeah. He's a, And then he got, uh, and, then it, and then he comes out and says, uh, Epstein, I don't see any reason why Epstein didn't commit suicide. I don't see any evidence to show he didn't commit suicide. I, I'm sorry, but a blind person, uh, you know, the, the, the number of anomalies that were there. Yeah, I mean, like one too many suicides in the city. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I understand 100%. Trust me, I still don't know what to do. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but I sold, I sold a ton of this stuff too in Michigan. Gun shows. Yeah. You get the flags? No, I don't have any flags. The flags? That yeah. One of them is, you know, keep America great. Just look for Trump 2020. But the other one is Trump 2020, no more bullshit. Yeah. I sold probably a thousand of them. I mean, they cost like two something, they sell for $10. Yeah. You know? I was going to go to my neighborhood when the election was happening. We had some people around the corner, they were gay. Yeah. Like, oh, well, Trump's against. I said, Trump is not against Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, yes, very sir. kind. I hope, I hope we do well with it. Yes, His thank you very much. Jewish. Yeah. You know, we, you, you I think, can call me and thank you. Thank me, okay? I shall do that, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, he's a bigot. Why? Where? He's hired black people. He's done everything all of his life, you know, things. Well, he's done that. I, said, I don't know about his business practices, but you tell me the president that we've had that has not been a little crooked with something, you know, let's face it, you know, George when Washington... You, when was, you're doing as much business as he does with as many people as he does, I mean, it's hard for one guy to keep in, you know, in touch yeah, with yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah. one of his managers and his yep, lawyers yep, and yep, everything yep. else to begin with. And all the stories I've heard out here, you know, when people come along, they tell them, oh, he did this, that, and that. It's always been third person. My cousin, my brother's uncle, my, yep. you know, yep. got screwed by him. And I just, but everybody I've talked to that has had personal in, in the room business with him right. has come away saying, I got a good deal. Yeah. No, I agree. No, it's it's funny think. to me that AOC, the Casio, things like that. She's bragging about what a great leader she is and stuff. She destroyed her own district, you know, when she drove uh, Amazon out. <laughs> Such an asshole. <laughs> Well, again, it's uh, like what we're talking about. It's the the disconnect from what they say and what is real is 180 degrees of everything they say. Yeah. It's yeah. just how do they? Um, I have um, everybody is that has two functioning brain cells flabbergasted. How anybody can listen to these people without slapping their foreheads? No, my neighbors. I'm, I'm not kidding you. My neighbor beat it up like his thing. What you? I said, you believe her? Oh yeah. Well, she, 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 we have 20 years. It's like, and then and then she kept, there were, oh, you could get it over, like, right? Where she comes out and you can hear her saying this. Oh, people really believe what I said there. That's I can't believe you. People believe that. And then the top one, she was frightened of her garbage disposal. Do you hear that one? I'm like, holy shit, what a... I mean... I lived in New York. I didn't have a garbage disposal. I knew what the hell it was. <laughs> well, she came from an affluent family. It's not like she came from you know, the slums or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. You tell me, you know, oh, come on, these people... Have... And then, of course, you know the whole thing about her. It was a casting call. 
they, they, they screened 10,000 people to run for the district, and she won the casting call because she had charisma and she had the attributes that they were looking for. So everything she says is scripted anyway. You put that woman on her own, and that's where you Like those two crazy Middle Eastern bitches. Yeah. The one married her own brother to get into the country and stuff. I'm sorry, but she needs to be deported. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the Justice Department needs to do something. The problem is, though, that, you know, all these Justice Department people have their ties with all these... Uh, well, that's pro- it. I mean, you, I mean, you look at Barr himself. I mean, he had, you know, uh, who did he? He defended the uh, the guy that shot uh, Randy Weaver's wife in the head when she was holding the baby. I mean, he, you know, he helped get Bush off with the Iran uh, with the Iran Contras. He, I mean, come on, it goes on and on and on. These guys are thick as you know. You know as I said, how much longer are we going to take? How much are we going to take? I'm wondering how long before we finally say enough. And there's a, a million men and arm march in Washington. And we just start kicking in doors and enacting justice on our own. Because that's what it's going to have to take eventually if it doesn't happen. I mean, I'm sad. Scared. Now that they had the IG report come out, say, oh, you know, nothing to say. Oh, right. And then now you got Hannity go, oh, but the next one that comes out, that's when they're going to, all right, bullshit. What is this carrot on a stick crap? Oh, say, okay, so let's say that report comes out, and again, Everything's like, oh, well, you know, we've got to wait for that. How much longer are we going to swallow this crap? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. All right. So, um, there it is. San Francisco shit hole. Okay, you know. No exaggeration. It is what it is. And uh, it's going to go where it's going to go. I don't think it can be saved myself. But that doesn't mean we don't uh, we don't keep trying. Got to keep trying. So help me out there. Go contribute. Pray for me. See you on the streets. God bless you.